Yep, back out. This time we've walked for two miles already. We've no idea what we're doing. Not a clue. We're in a valley at the minute. But what a valley. We don't know where we are, what we're going to do, where we're going to end up. We were going to camp on Hedgehope, but that cloud and the wind, 50 mile an hour wind, heavy rain, means no Hedgehope today. So we're staying in the valley, hopefully to try and find somewhere, find a nice spot. Oosh. Brought loads of water for Hedgehope and it's like, <laughs> come for water sauce there. Bloody ferns, ticks if you walk through ferns, always check yourself straight after anything lying on you. I've got, short, I've got long trousers on the day, long sleeves that can still sit on you, clothes though. Anyway, I'm going to press on through the trees, I'm with uh, Marco Scarpero Tomso, he's rushed on ahead there while I'm mucking about. Let's see if I can find somewhere in amongst all this undergrowth. We found this little spot, little oasis. I should have a big camera in there. For some nice time lapse shots, right. water laps. Right, get over here. I can't see. I couldn't sit down properly. Slide doing if it's easier. We have fell down the idea of the dog. Aye. Uh, I'm sure I couldn't put the hand in. So I still need to put it on the side of the track. Yeah. Aye. Little bit I'm going to pitch. Have you seen it with you? Aye. There's a spot there. Oh, that's a spot. Can you spot? There's a spot here where we're standing. Hey, you yeah. bother, man. Now you bother. So look at this. Get this. What a place. It's nice, isn't it? Three mile, I think it's here. It's hot, it's hot. Not tired or knackered, it's just warm. It's muggy, I think they call it. There's Mark, filming me, filming him, filming me. The Cheviot Mountain is up there somewhere in the cloud. We've pitched here. Look at that for a spot. So let's see what we've got. Tonight's recipe. Oh, yeah. And then we've got for food, no steak. Come here, also steak. Adventure food. It's nice like. Um, Polly wants a beer, Andy wants a beer, 7.1%, Ripple Twister, Raspberry Ripple Ice Cream IPA, 6.5, I've had that before, tastes not like Raspberry Ripple IPA, uh, Ice Cream, Retrace the Steps, 6.7, this is meant to be really good, Cheeseburger Cavalry, had that one before, Left Handed Giant, that one is 6.9%, and that one there, which makes your eyes go funny, that's before you had a drink. Left-handed giant again, more more glow. 
Citra single hop, 6.4%. Look at that, man. Yeah, so it does hit your eyes, man. Usual setup, waterproofs. Jack Daniels. Some uh, energy bars, which we didn't really need because we didn't go very high. We only walked about three miles to get here. Let me reach here, folks. Mark over there. There's no waterfall behind that one. I know. It's a, it's a doubler. I'm going to go over. I'm going to hop across onto them rocks and see if I can film a bit of it. I didn't fall in. In there, there's a waterfall there, and there's one inside as well. I'll get a better view of it and just show you. But this is a lovely little spot if you don't want to. I'm just protecting myself from the weather, really, aren't we? I'd say definitely shelter, mate. Oh, it's going to be horrendous, mm -hmm. the weather as well. as well. What's the name of that? Storm Enrique or something? Ernesto. 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 It's supposed to be Storm Ernesto coming over. Of course, we had to come out in it. I will have a missus, we're not going to do it. I think we're just going to get the, just the remnants of it, like not the full yeah. belt one. But we've got the, um, it's clear over there, like, hedgehogs behind there. Now we were going to camp on hedgehog originally. You see how fast the clouds are moving? That's not even a time lapse and it's moving like that. It was just, uh, there's this neat point camping up there when it's wild like that. There's two of you as well. You just get ten pound, you fed up. So I think we've scored here. Nice little spot. Here's the view. There's a little water, natural water source here. We've carried, between we've carried about five litres of water in. And there's, we're pitched right next to the Lemon River. And uh, you could probably drink that straight from there. It's going to be filtered through the mountain. We'll have a cup of that later. But, uh, well, it's going to turn. We're going to be hit by rain tonight, I think. It's forecast to rain overnight, heavy rain. Um, Biblical winds up the tops. It's bad enough down here in the valley, so God, now it's much like up there. Right. If you want to get um, a bit of energy in you, a white chocolate flop jack. I think I got that from Poundland for like 99 pence. I think a brick. My wee radio's broken. I snapped the aerial. Uh, I can't get these, you can't buy these aerials. It doesn't unscrew. I'm going to take the whole thing apart. And get the aerial out. Uh, I think I might just buy another one. A good radio, that. The back on eBay. Search for Goodman's Portable DAB radio. 30 odd quid. Uh, nice spot. I'm just chilling out now. I'm gonna have my bait in a minute and then get a beer. Straight that, reverse it. Have a beer and then get my bait. The country kitchen. We've picked these, we've picked these the out of the ground. The they're just growing wild, eh? The yeah, they could be. What the hell? You cook them, then they're not poison. See, they're just here. They're everywhere. You can eat them. Oyster mushrooms. Oh, I wouldn't like them. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm not hungry. That's uh, Mr. Thompson's kitchen. It's eating a little bar. Right, that, isn't it? That pan. Right. Myths. Right. Myths method. Myths method, right. Nice and quiet, you know. So I like this. Aye. Nablem and wild. Like the Jeff Peter. He's got uh, 
piston head, full amber lager. Six percent, like I've had that. That's quite nice, that one. I don't, I don't think I've had this one. Four point six percent. That's lightweight lager. Have you not? No. Oh. And it's got a bottle of red wine as well, which we're gonna have. We're gonna. I'm gonna have most of that. This is gonna be in bed at eight o'clock. <laughs> There's the, the wee one at the back there. That one there. No, it drops down on the back one there. I'll tell you what, if it was a warmer night, it would have been in there. That's quite deep. We could get in there easy. I've brought a towel, shorts, and out. Of course, it's a bit cold. I can't believe I'm saying it's cold. It's still August. It's happened to the weather. Uh, this is where we are anyway. Phew! So I broke my neck coming over here. The rocks are really slippy, even though they're dry, they're still slippy as well. Mm. It's tricky. It's 8 o'clock at night, we've had more food. Mark's had his steak. Wish I brought my steak now. This is the river. Plenty of water sauce. That there, I've had a drink of that. Fresh as a mountain stream. Literally. There's Mark contemplating whether to jump in or not. Don't do it. What? Don't it jump. Give me a jump. Give me a jump in the river. It's near worth it. Cracking little pitch. Little bomb, sort of a pitch. Little bombster. They're slippy, them rocks. Like, even though they're dry, you're uh -huh. still slipping all over. Can I get over it? Um, this is a little set up here. Got it just like the chairs here. Retrace the steps. That's the beer on at the minute, folks. It's nice. It tastes a lot stronger than 6.7 that. Anyway, music's on. No Craig Charles can't get the radio reception like. But I'm in the cat's lair there. Aye. The wild cat. He's where the I wild, wild cat. cats and the ones early. Uh, it could happen, you know. Yeah, or some sort of Bigfoot attack. <laughs> Something just comes. Yes, Something just comes out of them ferns. Aye. Crashing through the ferns. Aye. Trips over your tent. Aye. Lands on mine. Gets you. We're both knackered. Could happen, like. You trust you got the hilly bird? In yes, you Leo. In yes, you Leo. I knew I was looking for the expression. I think I've pulled this side, this side's pulled out, right. and I haven't pulled that side out because I've got to to peg it. That's why it's just all pulled over with this. No, I haven't put the other side out. The clouds up there are moving really fast still, so I think up on the tops it would be a nightmare. Yeah, we made the right call, stopping down here. Still out camping. We still walk three miles to get here. So it's not like we're right outside the cars. But we're just gonna chill out and uh, finish these beers. We've got the, the sound of the waterfall to send with to sleep. Keep it awake, won't it, Jeff? Well, keep it awake. It depends on your persuasion, doesn't it? Nice little sort of spot, like. Lovely little spot. And I tell you what, on a hot day, you get in that water there under that waterfall. It's deep. It's deep enough for a little swim. On a really hot day, I'll be in there, like I definitely. Be hotter than this, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. It's not so hot. I was just saying that earlier. It's August, and it's we've got our down jackets on, like already. Summer's over, folks. That's your summer over. I hope you've all had a good summer. Aye. Anyway, can't finish these beers. 
Just chill out, really. There's not much more to do. We're not on the fire. We don't have fires. We're not fire people. So if anybody comes here, wants to come here camping, finds this spot, do not have a fire. Unless it's over there. That's what I was thinking for. Uh, you can have one there on the, the rocks. You shouldn't have one anyway. Well, you shouldn't, but I mean, if you've got to, if it's your persuasion. You could get a log on there, couldn't you? You could get a crack log on the rocks, because that would just wash away eventually. But no, no on the grass. Don't have fires on the grass. You should never do that. Right, people. This is it. This is the inside of the tent. And uh, all again. And if we can just for one minute find the zip. Oh, there's loads of little creatures here flying about. Look at them all. Midges. Be no midges tonight. I can't find the blim. Right, here we go. So there we go, folks. There's the rain on. Ugh. What a night. Mark's asleep, I can hear him snoring already. Absolutely lashing down. But we were expecting rain about this time of night, so the forecast is spot on. Oh, we're getting oh, there's a few little creatures in. What you could do with the creatures is just God. <laughs> Hold on. Hang about. Right. Let's get settled. What you've got to do, right, with creatures, if you're um weird about little creatures, all you've got to do is know that none of them can really hurt you. Right, you can get, you can get midges. Hold on. Is that better? You can get midges, and you can get all sorts of little creatures coming in your tent. Um, flies, all that. But at the end of the day, you know they really can't hurt you. I mean, there's uh, there's horse flies. Horse flies, I have a couple of horse flies on, but you don't feel it. They bite you, and you can't feel it. But I think they can spread disease. I'm not really selling this, am I? But what I'm saying is, basically, when you get creatures on you, don't freak out. You get them on your hand, yeah? And you're like, ah! Scream, but don't, don't do it, because 95% of Insects and creatures in this country can't do any harm to you. You get wasps, right? You can get horse flies. Uh, you can get the odd little spider that'll bite. It's very rare that a spider will bite. It's a wood louse eating spider, I think, is the one. That can give you a little nip, but Christ, it's, it's nothing, you know? You've probably had injections in your mouth, which were worse. So don't freak out with creatures. What you've got to do is you've got to be cool. This is probably steamed up, isn't it? You've got to be cool, and you've just got to like not freak out and say, "Oh, hello, creature, remove it, or brush it off, or whatever, flick it off." Anyway, I'm trying to, I'm trying to teach people about creatures. If I say ants, I eat them. I'll get, a, I'll get an ant and I'll eat it. Because ants give you protein, right? And they've got, they're full of vitamin C. And I'm not sure if people know that. They've got the formic acid in them, which is vitamin C, basically. So you can't eat ants. They don't taste of anything. So, you know, if you get yourself in a situation where you've got nothing to eat and you want some vitamin C, just knock a few ants back. Anyway, I'm waffling. I'm rambling. I'm going to uh, go to bed now.
get to sleep. We're going to go to sleep. Oh, sorry, is you can hear him snore. We'll see you in the morning. Morning campers, hidey hi. Nah. No. Well, it rained all night. And the waterfalls are wild. And the river's come up. The river's come right up. Look this. Right up side the Waterfalls have gone wild. What we're going to do is get out of here. That what us now. We're going to cross that. Oh. Oh. There's no wind, like. It's a good thing. It's just miserable, like wet. Everything's wet. So I'm going to keep the camera uh, wrapped up in the waterproof bag. So this will be the end of this video. And um, we'll see you on the next one, whenever that may be, whatever that may be, no idea.